In this example, we will take a look at binary arithmetic. So first we'll do a conversion between number systems and then we'll do signed binary addition. Okay, so let's first first problem, uh, let's take a look at converting from a binary to hexadecimal. Converting to binary from converting from binary to hexadecimal is fairly straightforward. Hexadecimal basically means going from 0 to 15. So a number system that has 16 numbers in it starts 0 to 9 and goes A through L. Hexadecimal, since it contains 16, can be represented by 4 bits. So what we do is, for the binary number that needs to be converted, let's do this. I have 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Start out from the least significant bit. So that's the least significant bit. From there, create a group of 4. Do the same thing until you run out of bits. Okay. Now, for the first group right here, 0, 1, 1, 1 in hexadecimal is 7. 1, 0, 1, 1 in hexadecimal is B. So, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 in binary is equal to B7 in base 16. Now, for our next problem, we're going to look at converting from decimal to binary. Converting from decimal to binary requires us to repeatedly divide the number 431 by 2 and keep track of its remainder. Okay, so let's do that. So 431. What we'll do is we'll keep dividing by 2. So that's 2, 15, and the remainder is 1. 215 divided by 2 is 107 with a remainder of 1. 107 divided by 2 is 56. Oops, sorry. It's not 56, it's 50. 107 divided by 2 is 5. 53 remainder 1. 53 divided by 2 is 26 remainder 1. 26 divided by 2 is 13. No remainder. 13 divided by 2 is 6 with remainder 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3 remainder 0. And finally 3 divided by 2 is 1 with the remainder of 1. We stop when we get to 1 right here. And the way we read the binary number is from the bottom to the top. Okay, so 431 in base 10 is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So total of 9 bits. So that's total of 9 bits. That's binary number. Now, in this example, we'll do addition of addition of two 8-bit signed binary numbers. And the num signed binary numbers are in the 2's complement number system. So, uh, we're asked to add them and indicate if there's an overflow. An overflow is a condition where the resulting sum is outside the bounds of that number system. We get an overflow whenever we add two positive numbers, meaning, for example, right here, we have two positive numbers indicated by a leading uh, sign bit of zero, two positive numbers. If the result happens to be negative, that's an overflow. If I add two negative numbers and I get a positive number, that is also an overflow. So let's take a look at this example. So here we have 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 added with 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 carry of 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 1 so this is the carry bit. 
having carry bid does not indicate an overflow. We have a negative number, a negative number, and the resulting sum, which is the 8-bit sign number, is also negative. So no overflow. There is no overflow here. Let's take a look at problem number B. So let's add again. It's adding again two negative numbers, and let's see what we get. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is again carry 1 with a carry of 1. 1, 1, 1 is 1 with a carry of 1. 1, 1, 1 is again a 1 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry 1. 1, 1, 1 is 1 with a carry of 1. Again, so this is the carry again. So that's the carry. That does not indicate an overflow. Now let's see. We added two negative numbers and we ended up with a negative number as well. So this again is not an overflow. So let's look at this problem, final problem C. Problem C. We're adding two positive numbers. Okay, so let's see. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is a 1, 1 plus 1 is a 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 is a 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 is a 0 with a carry of 1. And that gives you 1. So the answer is 1, 0, 0, 0. 1, 1, 1, 0. Now let's see what happened here. I added positive number indicated by the most significant bit of 0. Another positive number and I got a negative result. This is an overflow. So this is an overflow. It basically means I cannot trust the result because the resulting sum I got is outside the bound of my number system.